pulling off the ass. He's hiding. You gotta be hiding. You reminded me of something, man. One time we was running through the streets in DC, we caught this big ass odor. We beat his ass. We beat his ass. We pulled his mask off. It was Donald Trump. That's good. The Scooby Gang didn't fight like that. Give it up for yourselves. Every problem that's all tonight. Yeah. Give it up for that baby in the back, you guys. Those are my friends that came out. That's a good baby. He's just watching every comic like inquisitive about it, you know. Gangster type of type of comic fan, you know. I'm not a gangster, I got a dermatologist, y'all, for real. I got a great health care. Great health care. It's not that great. Like I can't talk shit. If somebody run up on stage, I get to fight and I break my hand, it's not that great. Dave Chappelle got that good. <laughs> we talk about heroes. Bro, I became a hero. You guys, I became a hero. At a, at a giant grocery store in Laurel, Maryland. You know what I'm saying? New York, y'all got a giant? Y'all got a giant out there? Woo! Oh God, I love giants too. Go up in there, people like, excuse me, did you hurry up in the self checkout line where you used to take your time? <laughs> I love giants too. I walk in the time, and it's just some random dude throwing all you here. Regular day, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. This guy is throwing tomato cans, one by one by one. Everybody's just standing around watching. He's chucking them to us. The manager, she's over there staring. She's like, oh no, he's throwing cans again. She's leaning up against the syrup. What's it called now? Porterhouse, because it ain't on to mama no more. We know, we know who signed on to mama. That's like Washington. Commander skins changed their name to the Commander skins just because they knew that people knew who they were. Now that that, I went out to Arizona, I asked them, I said, like, is this where Commanders come from? Because I don't use the word Redskins. We don't say that. And then I, I saw a lady walking around the street. I said, is this where hoes? I mean, sex workers come from? We don't say hoes no more. Man. <laughs> so I'm in Giant in Montauk. So I got I was in Giant South of uh, South of New York. And this guy was throwing some baby cans, and I said something, the grace of God, something rushed over me, said, get the cans. I got one, I got two, I got three, I got four. I got like eight to grow. I felt like the Baltimore Oreo. I had to let it out. They want eight games, y'all. That's an amazing thing in baseball. I'm from DC, okay? All right, that's, we're 30 and 60 right now, all right? Be happy for what you have in Baltimore, in the Jamaican spot. Do the storm bad kings. And I just started picking them up. I got glass, I got stuff on my hands. I had tomato sauce. I started getting a good lather going, you know what I'm saying? Could it, could it. And then he looked at me. One moment, looked me in the eye. And I looked him in the eye. And he had that look, he was just gone. Like, like he had given up on life, but he still had his Netflix password. He still hadn't finished season an uh, attack on Team Titan. He still hadn't finished season six of PD Blinders. He hadn't done that yet. And I looked at that man and I walked over. And then a bigger hero came, the real manager came. She was like, come on. One word. One word. He starts walking to the place. And he saw him throw stuff again, but then he like gave up. And that's what a strong black woman can do, though. That's what a strong. Strong woman in general, dude. White women, stand up for Brittany Griner. Bring her home, because they're not listening to me. I've been trying to get Brittany Griner home since playoffs. <laughs> it's, a serious, it's a serious fucking thing. Like, if LeBron James went to the fucking... Anywhere. If, if they held LeBron captive, we would have him out ASAP. If they held... If they held them... Danny Obvious. If they held John Sanders happen, we had him out. Who's the worst basketball player y'all ever heard of? It's Damn, man. What's the flavor in that? Have you ever looked your lover deep in the eye and just been like, this is barbecue. <laughs> Guys, I didn't know what the hell that joke was going to get, but it popped in my head a couple nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta love strong, you know. Doesn't matter if your love is buck too, that they, you know, they got his peg leg with his kick, build the kickstand. Like, love your love. Don't just give up. Love is, is a beautiful thing, bro. Beautiful thing. I was watching the woman with a double sided dildo, purple cocks on each side. It just stands so I don't know why I want to tell you that. But. 
You know, like, what's he do? Did you use it? Which, which side was you on? Which side was you on? I was over there, I was over there behaving myself with the cat, wondering about the damn double sided dildo. But this woman, she was a teacher, so vice principals must be using like, I don't know, PVC pipes. Principals must be using like street like, I don't know what women. I love women. This looks bad on me right now. <laughs> But I love this, y'all. I love this. Something, there's something about this world. Came up in here hungry. You know what I'm saying? If you hungry in Baltimore, all you gotta say is, y'all can tell I'm not here. But like, you know, yo, you need something to eat anywhere you go, everywhere you go around here. They got your back. If y'all go out to Arizona, it's kind of like Baltimore's people laying out in the street, just. I go in there, I went to use the bathroom. I went out to Tucson, Arizona a couple 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 weeks ago, right? I don't know, I drank some pretty pair of margaritas. I don't remember anything. I'm out there and it's just these dudes laying outside. Man, anyway. I go in, I'm like, yo, can I use the bathroom? He's like, nah, but do you know Lou? I said, I haven't got a clue. He <laughs> said, said, Blue is the new crystal meth that's on the street. Those guys out there, they're not tired at all. They're all strung out on meth. So you can thank Blue. Another time, I was out in DC, our MLK library before the pandemic. This guy's just leaning, 45 degrees. And as I walk off stage, he was like this. He's like, never fell, he never went down. And that's what America is. No matter how bad you think, you're gonna stay strong. God, love you God. <laughs> Give it that song. <laughs> That nigga enjoyed himself, y'all see that? <laughs> that nigga had to go, have a good night, y'all you know, be turned down here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get this slow class started to be our next week?